All right, what's going on, everybody? We're going to be watching some stylish knockouts in the MMA world. Hope you guys are enjoying. I don't really know what this video is all about, but we're just going to stop talking and going into the video. There are no corners to retreat to in Bellator's circular nope, no cage. corners. Oh! And therefore, fearless gladiators of the 21st century have to so this use is just all like really cool looking KOs. Not suplex, right. man. Oh! Any veteran of pride so cognizant of the oh! Oh! consciousness disabling strikes. Oh my goodness! Yow, oh, yow, yeah, dude, these are with magnificent pure. Oh yeah, we saw this guy, and then he punches. Yeah. From the freestyle artists of the world of comedy. Always like it with, when the big guys go in. It's like they're two bears fighting. Sometimes their methods are too brutal. He's oh my god. Feet. Today we present an exhibition of works feet? painted on the American promotions Jeez. flaming canvas. The Bellator cage has seen its fair share Jesus. of violent, destructive knees. One, two, oh, that was a good ride. I think the Flying. he's out. <laughs> but it's the flying kind that is known to be a sure ticket to the high. Yo, the reel. flying knees, man. Oh! 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 That knowledge oh! is put to use in 2021 by the undefeated welterweight Roman Feraldo. His adversary, Robert Turnquest, couldn't get away from the counter left. Jab another jab with the flying knee. And Feraldo decided to cast a sleeping spell. Oh my god, it's, just, it's a noise. It's the connection noise. Yeah. Mouth is broken. Tracking the head of his prey and nailing it with a jumping switch knee. A sleeping spell. Feraldo produced a knockout of the year candidate. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Just disgusting. Just as bombastic was the all-American wrestler Taiwan Claxton's debut bombastic in 2017. Side eye. Look at Claxton, man. Very athletic, but real quick with those. Oh! Yo, airtime. Airtime. Look at this airtime. Jeez, Air Jordan. Going airborne and crossing half the cage, Claxton sent the antagonist teasing up at the too ceiling much. with a blank stare. Oh, too much. That same year, Paul Daly same illustrated year. Okay. exactly why they call him Semtex with a splendid sequence. Semtex, why? Oh, are these all jumping knees? Jesus. A spinning elbow punctuated by a flying knee to the face. No need to follow up. Bam! Lorenz Larkin like the has seen it all the during floor. his 15-year-long right, career. Now? From dizzying defeats <laughs> to intoxicating triumphs on the highest level. Oh, that's a good spinning hook kick. Big shot. In 2022, he crossed paths with the undefeated Mohamed Berkhamov. Liberty Bell the on former his, champion on of the head. Russian promotion, ACB, finished 11 out of 14 opponents, submitting nine of them. However, their clinch exchange didn't end the way the audience hoped. An elbow to the back of the head caused a no contest. By the time of the rematch in February oh, 2023, okay. yeah, Larkin's I was like, you're not allowed to do that. Improved dramatically. Forearm, you're right. Oh! oh! It wasn't at the back of the head. It was boom. A single Come to the temple to pray. rendered the Russian senseless, down and out. Six years prior, Gaston Bolaños showed the vicious beauty of Thai boxing in MMA. Love those spinning shots. Oh, so it's all elbows now. Short shot takes him out. When Dude, the way they get folded like a chair, though. The target coming back was no longer an option. In May of 2022, Leon no Edwards' younger brother Fabian authored an upset of the year contender. Shot Evans. Machida, is that the karate guy? Caught with an elbow in the clinch, uh, the great right. Lyoto Machida drove out onto the loopy street That'd and was crazy. mercilessly Watch executed. Seven plus minutes of the fight. Oh! In Bellator's colorful history, quite a few fighters spinning have kicked to the floor due to wicked Yow. spinning back fists. <laughs> Still, the promotion's greatest hit is the first meeting between Emmanuel Newton and Mohamed Lawal in February 2013. The former Strike Force light heavyweight champion, King Mo, had already debuted in Bellator with style by then. In their matchup, Lawal opened as the favorite and was leading the dance early. 
the hardcore kid answered with big right hands and familiarized the counterpart with Newton's law of gravity. He well, falls down. Suddenly rotating off an overhand, Emmanuel landed a beautiful back fist and even caught King Mo's falling body to carefully place it on the mat. A year yeah, later, he was doing not to like choke him out. Strap for the first time against Joey Beltran. He added another masterpiece to his resume Dang. by setting up a blind date between the opponent and the canvas. In 2015, Alexander Shlemienka captured the unofficial Spinning Stuff aficionado title in a clash versus Melvin oh, that guy Manhoff. Looks mad. Once the adjustment of fire was complete, <laughs> is Manhoff trying to load Why up is he always game? spinning? The Dutch maniac took Dang. off to the land of Oz. Oh, oh and he's done. He's like a tornado. This is, that's his nickname? Fernando Tornado? Shlomenko Tornado. They don't call him the Russian Storm for nothing. That's Russian for Storm. Sure. That makes that makes more the sense. That's a good one. Is back, Sean. Finally, in 2021, the bantamweight monarch Sergio Pettis and Kyoji Haraguchi took the baton in the race of creativity. Yo. A hurricane like back fist caught Yo, the almost. Japanese standout slipping. The younger Pettis's first knockout in eight years went straight to the KO of the year shortlist. Yo, could you just imagine? Since hitting the Bellator stage Curb in stomping him with your fist. Former welterweight champ Andrei Kareshkov has dispatched a squad of fools bold enough to face him. It's crazy when they're knocked out and then you go for a finisher. Yeah, that's crazy. Not least due to his signature spins. Go back to that fight. I refereed that fight. Now it's oh, and facing ex-UFC fighter Chance Rencounter in February 2022, Andre simply couldn't resist a piece of liver with a nice Piece cant. of liver, yikes. Five broken ribs and a punctured lung, courtesy of a single spinning back kick. That's definitely gonna hurt for a while. Yeah, that was a that was a heel to the four years prior. Four-time national champion in wrestling, Joey Davis found a way to take the foe by surprise. Joey Davis needs to start moving that head. Nice back at that. Oh, those are good back kicks, man. When those connect, blasting his heel right to the bread basket, Davis brought the house down in one move. In the red oh, it does start to break down that body. Oh, he's out. Wait, what's this in one? MMA, one shot knockout ability can spare you years of grinding and climbing up the rankings. Combat tournament. Years of grinding, yeah. Oh, oh my god, Michael dude, the way they is the best lot, proof man. of this thesis. Starting out predominantly as a wrestler. He quickly developed into a full package with a, a death suplex. Touch. Oh my god, bro. The brightest gem in Iron Mike's Bellator career is the title rematch against Patricky Freire in 2016. The Brazilian had recently switched Ryan Couture's lights out with a single blow. Patricky Pitbull. Oh, good luck! This is it! We're done! And the scrap between two dudes with attitudes was bound to end inside the distance. Oh, he cut the nice. He cut the nice. That was 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 nice. That was, that was, that was so nice. Oh my goodness, that was nice. Completely overlooking Chandler's he made the big Pringles explosion man with the snap, right and catching a critical pop. hit. Freire fell asleep peacefully. Oh, that was so clean. That same year, two high cholesterol gladiators, <laughs> Javi Ayala and Sergei Haritonov, settled their business before shortness of breath. High cholesterol. So cognizant of the. I didn't even see that. Last but not least, a decade ago, Muhammad Lawal produced his best one and done finish. Randy Couture oh, is it a... with us on Oh, wow. He's out. That is it. Holy cow. Raining down with a big right, King Mo sent the veteran Seth Petrozelli straight into retirement. With us on oh, he's out. It's like hitting your pillow the when you want to knock over fists and rolling heads the best picked up by the late great Rumble Johnson. Oh, Rumble Johnson. Sadly, this was the last bout for Anthony. 
Rest in peace, warrior. Oh. When featherweight prodigy Aaron Pico arrived on the MMA scene in 2017, few expected that his road to the top would be bumpy. Yet, in his pro debut, the 20-year-old metal collector tasted the bitterness of defeat metal in 24 off. seconds. Albeit, in three months, Aaron put on a four-minute beatdown versus Justin Lin. Lin's back. Very old school in many ways with Pico lighting him up. And overwrote the hiccup with a wonderful wallop. There you go. Pico beginning to... Oh! It's the noise. It's the sounds, man. After the left hook counter, the opponent hit the deck when in the glove meets time. the face, man. It was just the first in Pico's knockout streak. It's like extensively about how you it know? is. Oh, oh, Nevertheless, soon Aaron's ascension would be delayed by two losses. Pico hits hard. Forced to rebuild from scratch with a record of four and three, Pico kicked off the 2020 campaign against Daniel Carey. Successfully implementing his wrestling in the early going, Aaron reminded why he had been given so much praise in advance. And Pico looking very oh, it's over. It is all over! Just right there! The power of Aaron Pico! Boom! What is that, a forearm, forearm hit? A picture-perfect left hook got him back on the winning track. Another victim was run over by his hype train that year. Oh! When the undeniable MMA Hall of Famer Fedor Emelianenko decided to end his career in Bellator, fireworks were guaranteed irrespective of results. Yo, this looks the so Russian. The Russian KO show dude. got off to a rocky start listen, in 2017. Listen to me, man. So did the standoff against former UFC champion Frank Mir a year Yo, that's later. Frank Mir? I remember him from the video game. However, he was so much going skinnier. Punch for punch with the Yo, last emperor big. has always been a game of Russian roulette. Good straight left hand. Yeah, I like that barbed wire tattoo. The Russian guy is the last emperor. Oh my god, that's hilarious. After getting clocked with a short left uppercut, there was nothing Murr could do Yo, but lay these down are big and enjoy boys. the experience. Battling Chael Sonnen, Emelianenko planted a left hand. Demonstrated to the American public the beauty of Sambo. And fed the Westland gangster a shut up pie inside five minutes. Crushing the expectant version of Rampage Jackson took oh, I know Rampage, yeah. Using Rampage. Oh, he's a big boy. Big shot. Be that as it may, the Russian he's brute's like, nah. best work took place in 2021 against Timothy Johnson, who'd recently been on a decent knockout streak. <laughs> The big boys started swinging right away. Where has good combination? Tim Johnson just walking right into it. Swing Fedor dinged the opponent with the left and starched poor Tim. Left jab with Two monster shots by Fedor. A deadly combo secured the last victory for the ex baddest man on the planet. Unfortunately for Fedor, his farewell party was hosted by Ryan Bader. These two had met previously. And watch for that In their February 2023 title rematch, Bader outsniped the 46-year-old legend. Caught him with a right hand on the break. Part of what he does, he goes after you with the right hand. And sealed the deal on the mat. from the heavyweight champion. That's it. Fedor didn't go out on his terms, but had a retirement celebration like no other. I'm done. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, his nose is done, too. In just two months since his Bellator tenure began in 2009, Olympic Yo, he's judoka a Hector mission. Lombard acquired the belt and became notorious for issuing the heaviest concussions at middleweight. That's not a middleweight. The Lightning's return to the round Jeez. cage against Jay Silva in 2010 was nothing short of spectacular. You see, you see already when they're close to each other, Jay Silva, oh, good left hand, the end is there, it's there. Jason Herzog, our referee, but bang. 
blasting Silva's face with a couple of hooks like it was target practice. Lombard yeah, entered why the record keep books going with a him, like six animals. second KO. So Yo, he's Hector done. Lombard. Three months later, Bellator brought in Herbert Goodman hard. as a sacrificial lamb, who found himself under pressure from the jump. Goodman, Alonso, the referee. Goodman cannot wait. He needs to pump that. Procrastinating by the fence was his first and last mistake. Swing and a miss by Lombard. That's a good right hand. Big punches. That's it. Goodman down and is in all sorts of trouble. And that was the stoppage. Jeez. Lombard hurt the lingering enemy and chased him down with a shifting right hook. The fight lasted 38 seconds, more than it takes for the crowd to start booing oh, Brandon wow. Schaub's open mic. I don't get it. The star of semi-contact kickboxing in the 2000s, Michael Page is famous oh, that looks for like antics take one, no. in the Bellator <laughs> cage, where he made a name for himself by starching and mocking the opposition. Yo, isn't this guy that did the, the like the, the Londoner put his for entertainment on display when punch? he debuted in 2013. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Oh, good right hand, he's in big trouble. And that is it! The adversary couldn't bear the 10 second long humiliation and took the fetal position on the ground. It's the first time. Look at Fast forward a year and Paige is paid, laid, and made. Hey, he's got like Rick that Rainey bounce that I can take when no fighter does. Amusement in support of that claim. Closing distance, Paige turning away. Big right hand! That's it. Kevin McDonald steps in! In 2015, the fans witnessed another one-man show by Venom. Rudy Bears couldn't even last two minutes. Oh! Huge left, and it's over! Just like that! The right hand shot right to the chin. Knocks Rudy Bear. But the king of Paige's highlights is the wrecking of Cyborg Santos in July 2016. The Brazilian couldn't get going in the stand-up. That belongs to Paige. Effective grappling belongs to Santos. He's so flimsy and loose. Yeah, that's weird. What the? Being forced to endure a Awkward. striking clinic through two rounds. Debilitating body kicks mark the beginning of the end. And the cocky Brit's blurring speed decided the outcome. It can come back. A knee straight from a horror movie shattered Cyborg's frontal bone, leaving him with a real piece of metal in his skull afterwards. Luckily, the veteran is alive and well now. 2019 was especially prolific in artsy finishes for Venom, as he got rid of three rivals in walk-off fashion. I'll have an opinion about that. Yeah. Oh, oh, big knee from And he's starting to look like a kid in the school of film. Show, is it? That's disgusting! In June 2015, the Japanese-French fighter Hisaki Kato won the lottery. The knockout artist laid out four out of five opponents and signed a contract with Bellator for a high-profile shootout with Joe Schilling. The American's questionable Schilling, wrestling skill chill. was made up for by his elite kickboxing, enough to outright ice Melvin Manhoff. Another left hand! Ice, is that what they call it? Ice? In a duel of two strikers, many considered Kado to be a stepping stone. Kado. Instead, the Japanese musketeer refused to play by the enemy's rules for long. Trying to work to the inside. Kado transferred the action to the mat to soften the opponent up. Schilling gives his back. Looking for a backdoor escape. Back to his feet. And did him like an average Joe when they get back on their feet. A majestic Superman punch sent Schilling to outer space and secured the Upset of the Year award for the author. However, that wasn't the last time they would clash. A year later, a big rematch was held under the Bellator kickboxing banner, and Hisaki had an ace up his sleeve again. Final seconds of round two as Schilling continues to land, and then goes down! A devastating spinning back fist left Joe helplessly looking at the lights. And yet, when Melvin Manhoff entered the Kato equation, MMA's unpredictability was revealed in all its beauty. Nice right hand. Good, good left. Good covering up. One uppercut got through. Manhoff knows he has to get it. Meant it. As play! In recent years, multiple-time karate and kickboxing world champion Raymond Daniels hasn't put on the big gloves. The ones he used to shine in for two decades. King Francois Imbe Ambe. Oh, what a Wait, is this the guy? 
Yeah, this Upon has to be the guy the that Bellator does the spin. Kickboxing belt, the striking maestro nah, went okay. on an MMA Whoa, conquest in May 2019. The debuting Wilker Barros welcomed the stunning KO virtuoso. After a mocking session at the outset, Raymond swept the opponent off his feet and proceeded to add another masterpiece to oh, here the we go, collection. Yeah, that's Taking a off crazy. Taking off a 720 degree turn, Daniel screwed a tornado punch into Barros' oh. head, scoring a one-of-a-kind chin-spinning knockout. That's crazy that, that that ended up being a knockout. The wow. rich resume of former Bellator welterweight chief Douglas Lima cemented his status as one of the nastiest finishers in the sport. Oh, good shot. Good enough, Starting out in the organization in 2011, the Brazilian waited eight years for his career-defining moment. In May of 2019, he faced Jeez, the 14-0 hype machine Michael Page, who was burning his way to the fire throne. The distance control master proved he could hang with the best of them. Advanced to the final of the one million dollars. Showing already, John, in the way he reacts, although he got... Nevertheless, Venom chose the wrong spider to go against. Not quite at 100%. Oh, and Raising Douglas with a punch. It seems Page like an Anderson Silva Ellis. type of match, you know? All Too cocky. Needed. In it. Chopped Michael night, down night. with a low kick and wiped the British smirk off his face with a laser sharp uppercut. That right hand, boom! Touches that wow. chin. Don't play with your food, you know? timing, pristine technique, and cold blooded execution wow, he's by out the Brazilian. Cold. The perfect entry to top our list. Quite at 100%. Oh, and that There's plenty of life outside of UFC, and Bellator Chronicles abound in phenomenal knockouts and merciless submissions. He's dead. If you want to see more, Damn, try not that guy's to break dead. your screen while punching that like he button. He doesn't live no Subscribe more. Subscribe to the channel and a reverse tombstone. For Dude, what an ending! But he got suplexed on the top of his dome. But honestly, the video, this is just for fun. I love seeing these kinds of videos. It's just entertaining. I don't know what it is, but it makes my hairs go up. I, it, ah, you know, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that stuff, but I can't stop seeing it. And I can't imagine for the fans who love that stuff. They have to be so pumped. I mean, I'm pumped. Bro, spinning back fist, running knee to the... Yeah, it's it's insane. So if you guys have more of these videos, you know, we're doing the documentaries and learning more about boxers and other fighters. But man, this is just entertaining. I love this stuff. It's just the best. But that's it for the video. If you guys had a great time with me today, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment sections what you thought. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. Beep.